Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Dig for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. We're trying to use this little thing to catch the critter. Today's goal is going to be to catch the critter using the um, ribcage that we've got in our inventory and hopefully find a way to get in through this door. So we need to use the ribcage with this pole, but it appears we're missing an item. So I think we're probably just going to have to trawl through all of the areas, really, really pixel hunt and see if we've missed anything that will help us out. Um, Silo Cat's pretty much hinted that we might have missed something. A couple of you other guys have as well. So I'm going to basically do a little bit of this. Uh, <laughs> pixel hunting type of deal. So there's the door here. I'm just going to try clicking on literally everything as well. Shut tight and solid. Shut tight and solid. Um, there was this panel here, wasn't there? Which we know where the panel's from. It's missing a part. Uh, it's this, but we need something to go in between it, I think. It won't do much good to put the cover on when a part is missing. Yeah, so we've got the cover, but we don't have the part. Uh, there's the hole here. Is there anything else? Yeah, what's that? A dowel. A short metal dowel. Okay, what does that thing do? And where is it? There it is. A short metal dowel. A short metal dowel, okay. Uh, that's where the crit is hiding, is it? Oh, is there another hole there? Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. Right, okay, so I wonder where it's actually put the thing we need. There's something moving in here. I mean, it literally just runs out of wherever we... Ah, do we actually have to click on a specific hole for it to to come out? I don't honestly don't know. Um, this to me looks like we've got to do something here as well. There's nothing. It's the critter's empty nest. How how can they all be the critter's empty nest? Unless this nest is mass like massive. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. Right. I know that. Thank you. That one we don't seem to be able to click on, weirdly. Um, no, nothing else there. Right, let's try that thing we got. See if that helps in any way. It won't do anything. Won't do anything. Can it go in here? It can. Nice fit. Okay, right. So that was... Can you believe it? It was there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time it was literally right there and I didn't realise see this is why you're supposed to pixel hunt in these games guys that's my number one tip so the pen fits tightly in the hole. does that mean we can now lift it up and does it go on here <clears throat> Right, it does. Okay, then. Uh, what can... Ah, oh, so there's the hook. I see. The hook's on that end. The pole with the hook is balanced on that pivot. Right, so can the rib cage go on? It can. Oh, wait, hang on. What? Right. The question is, how do we get the critter to go into it? We don't have any food or anything. Do we literally just There's something moving in here. do this? Uh, okay. What do we... Right, no, it ran away. So how do we do this then? A lot of useless junk collected by that little thief. Is he back in here? A lot of useless junk. Oh, he's gone somewhere. Thief. Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. Right, so do we have to chase him around or something? So we've set this up at least. Looks like we've set up the trap, but where the hell is it? It's the critter's empty nest. Right, so it's just the empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. So where's it gone to? It's the critter's empty nest. 
All right, it's not down here anywhere then. Can we... I didn't check if we could go this way. No, we can't. All right, back up we go. How the hell do we get the critter to come... Unless maybe leaving the area just resets its position or something. Can we actually, like, do anything with this? Or if we click that, does he just pick it up? Yeah, he does. Okay. I don't suppose we can do anything with the pin. The pin fits tightly in the hole. All right. Well, let's see if he's back in there now, shall we? There's something. Yeah, he is. Okay. The question is, how the hell do we? Unless we have to hang it on there. I can't use these two things together. What? Okay. So that definitely goes there. But how do we make the crit go into it? That's the question. Can we like wind this up or anything? Is there any way of moving this thing? Or is it literally just stuck? <clears throat> we don't seem to be able to... Hang on. The pole with the hook is balanced on that pivot. What pivot? What's, what's the pivot? Is that... Is that just the name of this thing? Can we... I don't, it feels like we should be able to turn it or something. Can we not... I mean, what's all this crap? Is that just, like, decoration? I don't really want to go back to the clearing, I don't think. There's nothing down here. Hmm. I feel like we're a little bit stuck, actually, which is a bit weird. Um, because I felt like we pretty much had that puzzle half figured out when we got that pin. Well, it was called a dowel and now it's called a pin. So this definitely goes onto here. But I, I feel like we need some sort of bait or something. I can't use these two things together. But we, we don't really have... Oh, hang on. Unless we need to... Right. Bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheepdog. Right. Okay. So that's what we weren't doing. We needed to. Right. It's pretty obvious as well when you think about it. We needed to use that to sort of prop it up so that it will hopefully knock that out. Can we also attach this now that I think about it? So we can like pull the string to catch it. It won't accomplish anything. Oh no. Okay. I thought maybe we could tie the string to that rod or whatever it was so that we could pull it away when the critter goes in but obviously not is he back in here? Something moving in here he is I mean to me that doesn't seem like he's going to go in if I'm honest a lot of useless junk collected by that little thief so how do we spring this then do we just touch it Right, yeah, we do. If only I had some bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheepdog. Huh. So how are we going to get him to go underneath it? Because it doesn't really seem like he goes underneath it of his own accord. Maybe you have to choose the right hole to look into. Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. Okay. What made him come out of this There's hole? Something moving in here. Can we Oh he ran Where's he gone? Oh he's gone into there now, has he? Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. Huh. Is he back in here? There's something moving in he here. is. So do we have to sort of go this way? 
Don't go this way, please. No, come back. Right, so we've got a... Oh, this is really awkward. <laughs> Just unidentifiable junk left by that critter. Okay, so... There's something moving in here. <laughs> We're going to have to chase him around a little bit, but I'm not really sure how to how to position myself to do it. Right, so... Where is he now? Ah, oh, nearly. Uh, if I come down here, he's going to run that way, right? <gasps> oh, we can walk around that. I didn't know we could do that. Right, okay. Have we always been able to do that, or is that something just for this puzzle? Yes. Now I've got you. Right, we got him. If I let you out, you'll head for the place where you hide nice shiny machinery parts. The only trouble is, how am I going to follow you? Oh damn! <laughs> how are we going to follow him? Well, this puzzle is really complicated. Um, can we? Use this? It won't do anything. No. Oh, that's a wire. I forgot it's a wire. Um. I don't think the little fella can read. No, I guess not. It'd be pretty cool if you could. Uh, can we use? Hang on. Can we use this thing? He's already too lively. No. Uh. Can we use this? We can. It's a small alien critter with an electronic collar. Oh, can we? This thing points to that bracelet, right? Well, now what a useful machine. It points towards the bracelet. Right, so if we let him out, will he go to... It's a small alien critter with an electronic collar. Will we be able to, to track him? It looked like he still had it on. Roam free wherever your thieving little heart desires. <laughs> right, okay. It's indicating to the right. Right, and we know that means his right, not my right. So I'm guessing we probably have to go into the cave. This is a good puzzle, I like this. It's a lot more complex than I thought it was gonna be though. Um Right. Oh, he's gonna do it automatically. It's got to be right under here. This is where the tracker's pointing. Really? What, there? The tracker points here, but I can't see anything. Okay, can we use the shovel on it? What if I hadn't brought this shovel along? I know, yeah, the shovel's been the best tool so no, far. That's not worth thinking. About. There's one in every single game. Literally every single game. There's a tool which is just like the OP tool which you use for everything. Critter sure didn't like that. Oh, poor he critter. He took off down one of his tunnels. Alright. Oh, there it is, the machine part. Okay. Now maybe I can get the door open. Yes! Right, okay. Ooh. It's a bit weird looking, isn't it? Looks a bit like a pipe or something. It's the part from that door lock. Right, so... Let's head back up to the opening. Is that what we needed then to get through that door? So we managed to trap the critter, which is good. It took me nowhere near as long... Well, once I figured out what I had to do and heard it, it took me nowhere near as long as I thought it was going to. But actually, I thought it was literally going to be a case of um, putting the cage on there and doing it that way. Shall we take this? I've just noticed we didn't pick that up. I feel like we should probably take that just in case. The fact it hasn't become obsolete makes you think maybe it'll be useful again in the future. So let's try this machine part then with the panel. Now with any luck, this will work. Okay. And then let's try the cover. Now let's get this thing closed up and see if it works. Watch it not have power or something. Open ah! Okay, no, it worked. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. Ooh, I like the way it closes. Okay, well, in we go. Well, I wonder what's in here. What is this? It's a faint light. There's a button. 
twin scepters. <gasps> a green rod. Okay. And is that another plate? Another one of these engraved sticks. Is that? Yeah, it is a plate. Okay, so we've got one more. Nice. Right. Excellent. There's a crack here. I can see outside. Hmm. That's nothing. What are these scepters? The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Hmm. Okay. So we have a silver one and a gold one. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Do they both have an electrical charge? The scepter seems yeah. to have an electrical charge. Hmm, I wonder what we use those for. Also, what does this button do? Does it just close it? Is it like a... Hmm. Huh, that's weird. It's not doing anything. What's this faint light as well? Hmm. So there's light coming in here. Hmm. Do we have anything that we can... Hmm, I'm not really sure we do. It's weird this button doesn't do anything to me. The fact we can click it but it doesn't do anything is very odd. But we got a green engraved rod. So we can probably open up another panel. Uh, panel. Another door back in the Nexus. I've just realised as well that double clicking takes you straight to a place. I can't open. Is this not working? Oh no, it is. Right, so let's head back to... We've got three of these going. Four. Wait. Tomb. Oh no. Tomb, Spire, and Museum. Um, right, let's go to Museum. And then we'll head back on the tram. And we'll try using that green engraved rod to open up a new area. I feel like we're unlocking new areas just really easily now. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Let's jump in. Off we go back to the Nexus. This whole tram scene never gets old to me. It just looks so cool. This game, in fact, just never gets old to me. It's quickly becoming one of my favourite ever point and click adventure games this is. It's really just brilliant. And it doesn't have that humorous aspect that a lot of the other LucasArts point and click games have. But that's not a bad thing. I just really love what they've done with this game. I think it's great. Right, is this the one we need? That's the question. So we've got the orange uh, hexagon, the green splodgy thing, the orange triangle, well pyramid really, and then the orange diamond. So let's go round to orange. That uh, I've already forgotten what the next one was. Right, the green splodge thing. Watch it be the other door. Uh, okay, the orange pyramid. Oh, wow, we got to go all the way through them. <laughs> it is a real shame. I know I've said it several times, but it's a real shame that you can't um, go backwards in the sequence by right-clicking or something. Or can you? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> I thought... Oh, no. Okay, I quit out of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was a little bit worried that it was going to... Okay, so... Wait, isn't that the combination? Uh, that looks like the combination to me. Which makes me think that that is not the right door. Why didn't it work? Oh, it is the right door. 
shut tight and I don't know the magic word. So it is the right... what? Maybe the combination is right, but there's something wrong with the control panel. Oh. Maybe it isn't getting any power. Right, is that something to do with this? When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. Okay. So, we're going to have to figure out what to do to power this back up, I guess. It's, it's like damage to the supply to this, maybe. So, I wonder how we're going to do that. Um, I think we'll do that one in the next one, because we're out of time. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.